You know how they say, when life gives you lemons, make an attack system so you can throw these lemons at your enemies. To implement a functioning attack system in your game, you can keep it quite simple. Press a button, play an animation and on collision take away some damage. Shouldn't take more than 10 lines of code. But what if you want to be able to switch the weapon? Well, easy. Just create an if statement that checks what weapon the player has currently equipped. But what if the weapon should have another animation? Do another if statement. What if the attack itself can vary and have some elemental damage or a completely different effect? Also, easy. Just create one million more lines of spaghetti code, serve it in a hot plate with pesto and some garlic bread and hope that you never need to touch your code ever again. Or you can decouple that into small reusable pieces and create different classes for each specific purpose. So make a dedicated class for your weapon, one for the attack, one for managing the attack, one for the animation movements itself and for every other modular piece in your game. In our case, we wanted to decouple the dependencies of these objects and behaviors even more. We only want to raise some sort of event and have another object wait and listen to that event and react to that. This system is called the observer pattern. That means instead of having a class that specifically knows and calls other classes, you rather throw an event into the room and whoever wants to look and react to that event is able to do so. Kind of like us throwing this video on YouTube and you as the observing audience are free to react and smash that subscribe button. In our case everything begins with an input. This input raises an event. Godot allows you to do that with Godot signals. Or you can use plain and simple C-sharp events for that if you're into C-sharp. This input event makes the character controller, its animation system and a dedicated manager class for weapons react to that. Or rather, these classes will react to that input event without the input system even knowing about it. The weapon manager will be the heart of the attack system. It checks what weapon is currently equipped and what attack animation the weapon requires for a specific type of attack. You can achieve that by using the same names for matching animations from the player and the weapon. It then raises an event that an attack has been started and waits for the animation to reach a point where the actual attack is allowed to spawn. This makes it flexible to not only swap the weapons but also the type of the attack that the weapon produces. At this point we can already throw the lemon back at life or well just at the enemy. The enemy should also have a reaction to that attack. In order to do so the enemy needs a hitbox and a way to take damage on that. And while we're already at it we also raise an event whenever an enemy takes damage. This will come in handy to serve information about changes in the health of the enemy to, for example, show damage indicators. The beauty of that system is that later on we can easily implement any other system we want on top of it without modifying any of these given classes, like an advanced UI, an achievement system or an upgrade system and a leveling system and so on. Using this method we are able to swap our weapons and we also have the attacks itself being independent from the weapon, so that later we can categorize them and randomly generate weapon types or introduce status effects or effects like an explosion so we can create a mix between a lemon and a grenade and call it lemonade with which enemies can be eliminated. Okay, I stop it. Also, our enemies are able to use our own weapon system as well. Only the input system needs to be swapped. And as you can see, this is everything that needed to be implemented and now we are able to attack our enemies. If you want to support us, check out Oakley's Adventure in the iOS App Store or on Google Play Store. But if you really want to support us, you can purchase the ad-free version. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to help us create more, please like and subscribe. Bye.